This is a realistic stereo bass enhancer slash subsonic filter. This thing just is an EQ for bass and it's very warm and thumping and I love it. It was my dad's. He liked bass too. These were sold by Radio Shack in I think the early 80s. Fun things to point out. JRC op amps just like the legendary Ibanez Tube Screamer distortion pedal. Rad athletic sock ribbon cable and one of those LEDs with a nubbin face on it. I like these nubbin face LEDs. Today we have a rare reverse mod where I'm taking something that I modded previously and putting it back to stock. This is getting its RCA jacks back on it. Previously I put a switch that put the two stereo channels in series or just ran it through one channel. All of that I did reversibly, so I pulled it all out and I'm ready to put it back to stock because I want to use it stereo again. I used to think this little tiny LED was the most magical thing as a kid. I remember being a baby and staring at it and poking at it and, and being in wonder. You might wonder why this thing has a long power switch. Well, it's actually true bypass. When you bypass this thing, sound goes all the way through without the circuit touching it and coloring it at all. Another thing I like is all these metal film capacitors. There's hardly any ceramic disc capacitors. These little chiclet looking fellas literally taste better. They have that late 70s warm sound I grew up with as a kid. This is why you got to be careful pushing on 30 year old circuit boards. Even when I was a kid, this would happen with this kind of circuit board. This tracing actually lifted up off the board. See the piece of metal that's normally attached to the board lifted up there. Now what I'm going to do is run a wire from this to wherever the heck over here it goes, just to be redundant because this tracing is fragile now. That residue is where you would have seen this sticker. Simulated rosewood grain finish. This is a realistic weather radio that I turned into a guitar amp previously. They are buddies. Time to pick a candidate from my screw collection. There's my battery light to look at my stuff. And then I need plastic screws. These were all scavenged from different stuff in 36 years of unscrewing stuff. We're going all black screws. Yeah, black screws are way better. Holler if you know why the original screws on this thing had that little tiny dot on them. Online I'm reading it could be hardness or it could be how many times to turn the screw after it goes in, but nothing conclusive. If you know what that little dot on the screw is, let me know. So the bass enhancer lives here now with this realistic stereo reverb system. I wish they were the same width. Thanks, Radio Shack. Shout out to Cody Brandt for hooking me up with this reverb fella. And shout out to Chris McGinnis for lending me this Pioneer Spring Reverberation Amplifier. Look at this fella. Ah!